called Preferences. It was posted. Um, uh, I have to look. It's uh, September the 16th, September the 18th, 2021. Number, uh, anachronism number 3360. 70? No. Sorry. 3,359. It's called Preferences. I tend to prefer reality and it's next of kin honesty. But yesterday, after scouting the headlines of a news rag that opened with woman dragged to her death by BART train while tethered to a dog leash identified for just one single happy headline, I'm not sure how I feel about reality after all. As for honesty, there's that subtlety or preference related to how you like to take it, say, on a vector that at one end lies reticence and at the other it's straightforward. Or maybe more accurately, the two poles would be tight-lipped and balls out. Um, let's be really honest for a second and offer how we prefer our truth. Sure, take in fell swoops when it comes to gossip. Fun stuff. How our leaders are running Here I go again, see. Uh, how our leaders are running things. Sorry. Sounds familiar. I feel like I just read it, so I'm just double checking. That's why I'm doing a little multitasking here. But even this one's a bit iffy for me. And maybe even a barrage in a and maybe even in a barrage of horribly morbid news headlines. If that's your thing. Or of yours truly, let's say. Or verifiable stuff that triggers you or me. Or bombshells that come direct from our lover, our partner. Bombshells is not a good word to be using today, but maybe it is. And our compadre for an avowed forever. Perhaps you even have this vow linked upon or inked upon certified paper. Such as the revelation of a strong preference on our dearest's part that you were actually something else, a something else which it would be literally impossible for you to even be, or a blurted out confession of a very long affair that's perhaps still transpiring, and that you're now being left for in order that it might be pursued to its fullest uninhib uninhibitedly. Would you then have a preference for discovering that you'd been heretofore unpreferred? Or might you instead rein yourself, I mean, resign yourself to being just fine with lousy newspaper full of morbid headlines? Hypothetically, I mean, of course, because surely these aren't my only choices. Are they?